Welcome to my home studio. This video is all about the different ways you can control the Data Video PTC140 and stream with it. So why are we talking about control in a video about streaming? Well, it's because we're kind of doing both at once. We have the Data Video PTZ View Assist app. It's encoding a live image and sending it to the app. And I'm able to control it and have a live image with very little latency. Now, I can also do something similar through the browser of a laptop or computer with a little more latency. And I can also use that laptop or computer to interface with YouTube and Facebook to put in the RTMP URL and stream key into the web interface of the Data Video PT 140 And that would mean that both would need to work simultaneously and they, they, they clearly do. Now, while I'm streaming live video to the PTZ View Assist app and the web UI, I can stream on Facebook and YouTube simultaneously. It all works at the same time. It, it's really simple, and I'm gonna show you how I did it. So the first step to getting all of this to work is to connect your PTC140 to a wireless router that is connected to the internet. Connect an ethernet cable from your router to the LAN port on the back of your PTC140. Power on your PTC140 and connect your tablet and laptop to the same network. Also, since we plan on streaming to two platforms and not just one, make sure your internet connection is at least 15 to 20 megabits per second on the upload and has no other substantial traffic on the network. We need to log into the web UI of the PTC140 to enter our streaming credentials, and we need its IP address to do that. You can find the IP address of the PTC140 on your network using the PTZ View Assist app. Download the PTZ View Assist app for free on the Google Play Store or App Store. Open it, and select menu in the upper right. Make sure you have camera selected and then click auto and scan. So now we scanned our network. That is the IP address of the camera. Let's go ahead and hit okay. And here I am. And we can control the camera. We can do a little zoom in. We can do a little zoom out. Zoom all the way out, pen to the left and right. So now let's go ahead and stream on Facebook and YouTube. We know the IP address, which is 192.168.0.100. Enter that into our browser. So let's go ahead and enter admin as the default username and enter admin as a default password. Click login. All right, so there's a preview screen. Through the app, we could move the camera and control it through there as well. So this is the first time we're streaming with the PTC140. Gonna go to video configure, go to video encode, and you'll notice that the substream is at 320 by 180. Let's go ahead and change that to either 720p or 1080p. Let's just change it to 1080p. And then we're going to change the bit rate 3000 kilobits per second is a good quality stream. Change the frame rate to 30 to match the settings for our camera. And uh, we can go ahead and click save. Let's go ahead and go to stream publish. All right, so this is all just uh, default. So let's go ahead and go to Facebook to start a live stream. Go to the create post area and then Next to create, click on live. The server URL, let's go ahead and copy that. And let's then go ahead and paste it under host address. Also, make sure to check persistent stream key so that your stream key will stay the same for this stream and future live streams. Let's paste that under stream name. Now here's a little trick with Facebook in particular because it's an RTMP S protocol. S stands for security, I believe. 
So you're going to take 443, which is their security code of sorts, and then we're going to go ahead and put it under the host port, 443. All right, now that we have that out of the way, we could go to YouTube and do the same thing. Let's go ahead and create a live stream by clicking the video icon with the plus button and then click go live. So let's go ahead and copy the stream URL and then we're going to paste it. And then let's copy the stream key and paste that as well. You don't need to change the host port for YouTube. And then let's click save. All right. The parameters have been saved successfully, as you can see in the bottom right corner. So let's go to Facebook, and there it is, our stream popped up, fantastic. There's gonna be a little bit of a delay. Facebook is processing the stream and then sending it back to us. Uh, so there's a little lag that's understandable, or not lag, uh, latency rather. Um, we can go ahead and just say this is a test. And then when we wanna go live on Facebook, we click go live. I don't want to broadcast this to um, our audience just yet. Let's go back to YouTube and excellent connection. Okay, we're up, great. It's unlisted, so it's not going out to anyone. This is just a test stream. Um, and uh, on YouTube, it's uh, important to know that it'll, it's just gonna immediately go out and it's gonna start as soon as you save the encoding settings. So you will, you will be streaming right away, so. And again, there is uh, latency because that's just how YouTube works. Uh, that's just how the RTMP protocol works, rather. All right, so as you can see, we're streaming live on Facebook and YouTube simultaneously. Let's see if I can get this so that we can see all of them at once. As you can see, the uh, app is still working and we have a stream on Facebook and we have a stream on YouTube. All of it's happening at once. So the PTC140, not only does it have dual streaming encoders built into the unit, but you can also continue to stream a live feed to the PTZ View Assist app so you can control your camera during the live stream. We have control of the camera, we can stream video, but what about audio? Well, you can connect an audio device via the line in 3.5 millimeter aux input on the back of the PTC 140, which is roughly the same size as a headphone jack. Keep in mind this only works for streaming video. It will not transmit audio through the SDI or HDMI output. I'm using the HD Base T version as shown here, but it is the same audio input for the PTC 140 NDI and PTC 140. Now this could be the output from a mixer connected to the PTC140 or a lavalier mic like this wireless setup I'm using here. You may need to boost the gain on your microphone to get the good level on the PTC140. After you watch this video, do a test stream and monitor the audio before going live. Well that's it, that's all I have for you in this video. Go ahead and click the links in the description below for more tutorials and information on the PTC140. Subscribe to us on YouTube and like us on all our social media. Thanks for watching.